I am on my way to go pick up some barbecue. And I'm talking about Texas barbecue. The best kind of barbecue you can have. No other states say they have the best barbecue. But can't beat Texas barbecue. It's too good. Um, we have this little barbecue shop. It's like right by our house, basically. It's in a, it's in a gas station. And they have really good barbecue. We're gonna go pick, I'm going to go pick up some pulled pork. Because Jacob, of course, is sick. And we didn't get to do our grocery shopping like we normally do yesterday. So I ran in and grabbed a couple things when I got that Gatorade for him. But I didn't even think about any kind of dinner or anything. That was, I don't ever think about that kind of stuff. So Amy was like, we don't have anything to eat. So I decided to get us some barbecue because he's really not, I mean, he seems like he feels better today now that he's had his antibiotics in him, but he's, his throat still hurts, of course, because he has a strep throat. But you can just tell the way that he, he moves. Like, I don't know, it's a, it's a thing with, when you're a parent, you just know when your kid doesn't feel good. Like, you know, I mean, anytime Jacob doesn't feel good, he gets really lethargic and he acts like he's like so tired and he just doesn't feel good and he's really whiny and, but today it seems like he's probably about 40% better than he was yesterday. So the antibiotics are helping, which means he will be back to himself soon, running around and sitting down to play video games. Hey guys, so we are clearing these rocks finally. We've had them stacked along the fence for probably a year now because we knew nothing no, else to do with them. I thought my brother died. You shot yourself in the eye. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is What's... not good. This is not good. <laughs> You're silly. So we had some stacked over here too which we've already cleared. We're needing to clear it so that Eric can ride the mower through here because it doesn't fit. So you get through the tall grass on the other side of the garden. Can y'all see that? It's pretty bad. Are you a firefighter? Don't squirt me, baby. It's kind of scary over here. Yeah. Tall grass and rocks. As you know, we got this uh, the creek that runs beside us over here. And there have been water moccasins over there. There have? That's what, uh, what's his name? Several Street. Don't tell me that. I ain't, I'm not helping you. Especially by that tall grass right there. Using your new trailer, huh? Yeah. You know you have a wheelbarrow too that works pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna carry all these rocks in the wheelbarrow. That's good exercise, honey. Yeah. Stop being so lazy. Yeah, whatever. You'll <laughs> continue to be lazy, huh? In just a minute. No, wait, no. Can you guys believe how tall this tomato bush is? Tomato bush, yeah, because it's not producing tomatoes. I will in just a minute. No, wait, no. This tomato bush is as tall as I am and not producing any tomatoes. It's supposed to be big tomatoes and not the cherry tomatoes. Check out these ants over here I found. They're not fire ants, but look at them. They flipped out. Those? They look like little sugar ants. Sugar ants and rocks? Yep. So we're almost done with all these rocks. Finally. I'm all scraped up. It's her fault. See, she agrees, it's her fault. And there's a sun behind it, so let's do this. She's gotta back it in right over here, down the side of the garden. See if she can do it here. Straighten up! Yeah, other way! <laughs> Right number two. <laughs> Maybe this is try number three. Jag knifing it, jag knifing it. <laughs> I guess that's good. I'm real professional in this. Okay. What are you doing being lazy in here, honey? Please, I'm trying to recuperate. We thought that little project of moving all that, uh, what is that, flagstone? Yeah. We thought we were going to move that flagstone and get it done like an hour and a half or so. 
three hours later, Bam. here we are. I'm exhausted. Yep. I need a little kiss. I've still got to do oh, something. Look. i got to do something, I know. I'm Look. wore out. I thought you got to do that. Oh, you got to do that? Yeah. What? I beat him. Oh. He beat it. it. Whoa, show me those big old muscles. He does look close. Whoa, look at those muscles. Hey, honey, I've got something to talk to you about. And to you guys. So, I've been doing this dad advice thing for six episodes now. Six episodes of being an amazing father <laughs> and telling other people ways to be amazing fathers. All right? All right? Right. But I'm just, wow, my camera's got a little ding on it. Hmm, okay, anyways. Whoa, squirrel. <laughs> um, is it worth it for me to keep doing this episode thing? This dad advice thing? The views have dwindled. I've, I don't want to be the guy that just throws this stuff out at you guys and says, watch it, go 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 watch it. Because then that makes me look kind of, uh, I can't, what's the right word? Annoying. Annoying, maybe. And I think they're good episodes. and the, like, so. They turn out good, but nobody's watching them. And I don't, you know as soon as you stop, somebody else will start. Well, I mean, I put forth all this time and effort, and it takes time to make these videos. It doesn't take time to, long to shoot it, maybe 20 minutes to do all the filming and everything for it. But then I have to edit it, and I have to upload it, and all that other jazz, you know? And I don't see the return for me, and it's kind of disappointing, you know? You know, honey? Yes. You know, son? It's kind yes. of disappointing sometimes. Life! What do you think? You think I should still keep doing it or just take a break for it for a little bit? Like end season one and like start season two if, once I get more views on the ones that are currently there? Because it is... I do have it set up as a show. And it's set up in seasons. I mean, I've had six episodes for this first season. I could like take like a month or two break from it, see how it goes, see if people pick it up. What do you guys think? And then change up to season two. Sounds good. Okay. Anybody else want to be any guest? Have you yeah. Asked? Yeah, okay, well, let's do that. Let's do that first. Since all of my buddies watch this, um, you guys could uh, maybe, if you want to be a guest host, and take on an, a, a, what is it, a topic, take on a topic, and do it from your perspective, like Austin did. And like how Austin did it, 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 it was pretty cool. I thought it turned out good that he, he jumped in there and he did like a minute and a half. And I mean, that could be the whole episode even for a little while just to carry through the end of the season. I don't know. She's like already taking a break on her season. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even tell anybody, honey. You just yes, took I a break. I'm going to BitCon. Oh. BitCon. <laughs> We're still in LA. Anybody around want to hang out? Come on. We brought the whole thing. We even packed up our whole room. <laughs> we don't want to look at your toes, dude. Oh, Those things are dirty. This week. What? You are? You guys heard it. She says she's making a video this week, and there's only, what, two more days, though? Three more days? Because tomorrow's Wednesday, right? So three more days in this week. Because she doesn't film on the weekends. As soon as this boy gets better, so I can go to the grocery store. It's his fault. Whose fault is it? Bubba's. Hey, where are, your, where are your dimples at? Show them to me. <laughs> your dimples! There it is. Wait, no! There's your dimple right there. I beat it. You did? Oh, hey. I didn't beat it. Uh, well, where's your dimple at? Show me. <laughs> Those aren't dimples. That's a nipple. Now, yeah, this is a dimple right there. <laughs> Silly boy. <laughs> Show us your dimples. <laughs> I don't have any. Uh, he used to call his nipples his pimples. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you got any pimples, buddy? <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> All right, we're going to call it a night. Uh, another short vlog, people. But, hey, I've been doing my own thing with my life, you know. i gotta, I got to take care of my family. And along the way, I might bring you guys along and show you a couple things and show you how I'm breaking my back trying to help her get things done that she wants to get done. You've been asking me to do that for, like, Ever. two years or so. Two years. Pretty much. <laughs> and I finally did it. We're going to let Mr. Dimples give you guys a smile and, a, and maybe a, a kiss goodnight. A smile and a kiss. Good night. I cannot kiss them. Oh, we'll just look up your nose instead. Yeah, you might not. Roadie.